it's not that you know everything you know needs to be ultra skeptical and ultra dismissive. Because I, I mean, I mean the, the phrase I I always use when you know people ask me like, what do I think is going on? Is like I, I kind of like you know I I don't know. I don't particularly care. All I can tell you that is it's it's kind of amazing and my experience, my subjective experience of these things is that, yeah, something fantastic was happening. And beyond that, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think it, it's whatever explanation, you know, gets certified by, you know, whatever peer review paper is like, fine, I'm, I'm fine with it. If you tell me that this is, you know, interdimensional aliens, I'm good with that. If you tell me it's just drugs acting on my brain, I'm, I'm good with that. It's, it's still some of the most significant experiences of my life and I can't unexperience them, but it doesn't really matter to me. And it kind of baffles me a bit that some people get so hung up on, on that date. Like there has to be, you know, I've, I've seen people argue so passionately, passionately in favor of it, it just must be transdimensional aliens. How could it not be? I mean, I can think of a few ways it might not be, but it could be. I mean, <laughs> does it matter? You know, it's, so yeah, I, I just I think I'd like to see a bit more humility within the psych- psychedelic culture, and just a, a little bit of um, a bit more reflection, a bit more interpretation, a bit, a bit more, just a bit more of this integration thing. I think it's a topic that I feel very sort of dearly about because I think that's the only way that we get value out of these things. Because if you just yeah, if, if I took these experiences at face value, that I'm driving a camper van around the universe right now, you know, then, then you know, it's, you've, you've got to do some kind of work around, around getting something back from that. Otherwise, it's just we're, just, we're just getting, you know, getting high and having wacky experiences, and, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> <laughs> but then we're back to Manchester before, uh, before the... This yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the... Um, I completely agree with what you said, and the, the idea of, you know, I, I'm, I'm very interested in, in what the answer it turns out to be with these things, but you're right that people, people get kind of, so the way that I feel about something like the DMT experience is, you know, if you, if you saw the sun for the first time, say we like lived in a cave and you came out and you saw the sun, it would be just this astounding thing. And you would want to say to everyone, hey, like, come out, look, there's this thing. And, it, and plants grow when it shines. And like, it's the most insane thing. Like, and then you would immediately, you would want to start to come up with stories. You, oh, maybe it's a god. Maybe we need to pray to it. Or maybe it's, uh, maybe you'd get quite close and you'd say like, oh, it's like a flame in the sky. But then the, after, you know, a lot of science, a lot of, a lot of constructing explanations of the world, you come up with this story, you know, okay, it's combusting like hydrogen and hydrogen is this and you need to kind of understand the chemistry and then you go, oh, okay, that's what it is. And it's not, mm-hmm. the, this, the answer isn't really what you're looking for. It doesn't, the, the, the description of what it is in the end isn't, it, I don't think it's ever going to be, it, you know, so it might, with the d and experience with meeting entities, it might be, yeah, some kind of very complex, uh, you know, Thing that involves understanding evolution and, and sociology and psychology and, and mm-hmm. perception and and then eventually if I, if someone could sit down and go through a lecture course where they're taught all those different disciplines and then they're said so this is how the trick is done you're probably just gonna come away going oh okay well i'm still good like with the, with the sun i'm still gonna plant my plants you know if you're a hunter gatherer well not hunter gatherer if you're early human doing agriculture i'm still gonna plant my plants i'm still gonna be in awe of it like so yeah i think that's a really healthy way to remain grounded yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's kind of like biology. I don't, I don't think there's any amount of biology knowledge which you're just going to sit there and say, "Oh, right, I now understand love. I, I now understand perfectly right. why, you know, the, you know, whether it's uh, maybe it's not biology, maybe you know, some other discipline going on." But it's there's no amount of, of kind of like I don't, you know, text or exercises that kind of will explain to me why I I feel this way about 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 these people, and I think. That's how, how I sort of look at these psychedelic experiences. It's, it's just pure meaning and you have to get your own kind of meaning from that. And, and my meaning is not necessarily going to be the same as, as somebody else's meaning. So this is why I think it's, it's, you know, it's kind of important not to sort of necessarily beat somebody else over the head and say, no, it, no, it absolutely is aliens because I mean, aliens might not mean anything else, you know, to somebody. But yeah, I, I think it, it's the important bit. I think it is just doing that that bit of of work as in what what does this mean to me okay so, so I, 
I saw these entities and they gave me this question, what does that mean? And, and it, it might be something that comes very easy, like I sort of described with the, with the DMT experience. And what I usually find is that uh, it's it, with something like, say, uh, ayahuasca, that, that does take a lot more unpacking um, to, sort of, to, to, to get something from it. But it's usually... It takes so much longer because there's a lot there, more, more there to unpack. I think the DMT sort of like gives it you. Here you go. There's there's the uh, the lesson in, in uh, it's like saying 4K 3D TV, whereas uh, yeah, ayahuasca is, can be something to stew on for you know weeks or, or months even. Uh, past past the events. 